Do you live in a city? Cities are full of lots and lots of people. But did you know that lots of animals live in cities too? These are pigeons. Pigeons are very common birds, which means that you see lots of them quite often, especially in cities. Sometimes bigger birds called falcons try to catch pigeons for their supper. Look at this one dive. It looks like the pigeon has escaped from the falcon this time. Because there are so many people in cities, they make lots and lots of rubbish. Some animals find our rubbish very tasty. This is a rat, and it has sniffed out some tasty leftovers in a bin. But it had better watch out. There's another animal looking for food. It's a fox. Foxes quite like life in the big city as well, and they come in to look around for food at night. Here's another animal, which sometimes comes right into the city, and sometimes into people's back gardens. Food has been left out for these badgers, so they come here quite often, looking for a tasty treat. Some animals don't just come looking for food in the city, they live there. These animals are called raccoons, and they live in some cities in America. A cosy attic makes the ideal home for them. And if they can't get into the roof, they will quite happily settle for the chimney. In some cities, there are big parks, so that you can go for a walk where there are trees and water and wildlife. Parks are the best places of all to see animals in the city. Isn't it amazing how many different animals can live right in the middle of a city? Next time you go to a big city, see how many different animals you can spot. is Namisha. She's a panda. Six there are more creatures for you to see. Here's another falcon. Falcons can fly really fast. When a falcon dives through the sky like this, it is one of the fastest birds of all. 
These birds are pretty fast divers as well. They are called gannets. They like to eat fish, but to catch them, they have to dive down from the sky really quickly. When they hit the water, they are going so fast that they can dive downwards to catch the fish before they swim away. Now these birds are called swans, and they are much bigger than falcons or gannets. Because they are big, they find it hard to get up into the air and fly. Look at these swans taking off. They have to run on the water and flap their big wings. This basilisk lizard runs on water, a bit like a swan. But it doesn't have any wings, so it has to run really fast to stop it from sinking into the water. This lizard runs so fast it can run right across the water's surface. Here is another animal that can run very fast. It is a darkling beetle. It lives in the hot desert, so it has to run as fast as it can, so it doesn't get too hot from the desert sand. What a super speedy beetle! This chameleon likes to eat beetles and other bugs. But it is so slow it could never run after one and catch it. The only way a chameleon can catch its lunch is to move really slowly and carefully sneak up to them. This big cat is called a cheetah, and it's the fastest animal of all. It has to run very, very fast to catch up with animals which it likes to eat. Cheetahs are such fast runners. It seems as though they are hardly touching the ground when they run. This animal is one of the slowest animals of all. A giant tortoise doesn't have to move fast because all it eats are plants and they can't run away. But this animal is even slower than a tortoise. It's a snail. Snails have no arms and legs, so they slide along at a snail's pace on a layer of slime. They eat plants as well, so they can just sit on a juicy leaf and munch away as slowly as they like. Some animals move fast, and some animals move slowly. <laughs>